Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video we are going to be unboxing the Octo Varios 2. If, I think that's how you say it. But before we get into all of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And as always, a huge, huge, huge thank you to my subscribers and supporters. It means the absolute world, so thank you. But first of all, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to Anthony from Aquarium Gallery um, for sponsoring me this product. I'm absolutely blown away. So thank you so, so much. And for those of you who are in Western Australia, uh, you need to go and check out Aquarium Gallery. I did a video, a walkthrough of their boutique fish shop. Seriously, you need to go and check it out. So I'll leave the link up above here. So make sure you go and check out Aquarium Gallery. Um, yeah, you will not be disappointed. It is amazing. Right, let's have a look what you get in the box. I'm the type of person that I love to watch a video on how to put something together um, or an unboxing video before I get something. So I hope this helps for anyone that is looking into getting this return pump um, to see exactly what you get and how to put it into your tank. Let's open her up. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. Here is your controller for the pumps. So I'll show you that there. You've got the normal up to the max. That's probably a little bit blurry to see, but yeah, you've got that. Also got these nozzles, which this one, the smaller one, I've been told is the perfect size for the 60.2 to connect. So we'll just be using that one. Power cord. Move this so you can actually see what's in the box. <laughs> and there's your pump there. So my return pump hose um, on the 60.2 fits snugly onto this one. Now, I figured out you have to push this in quite hard. Um, I had it just sitting in there and I was like, what? It's, it's coming out like it's not snugly in there, but you just push it down until it's in there. So, um, yeah, for anyone that is struggling with that, it needs to be pushed down because there's different nozzle sizes as well so um yeah i don't know i struggled a little bit with that to be honest but anyway we got there so that is how it goes then there's both of these which i'm going to uh put on the return pipe and then put it onto there and twist it down so that's where your return water is coming out from and then we've got this little basket thing to make sure that there's no snails or anything that get caught up and chopped up <laughs> into your return water Another cool feature about this return pump is that it's got an auto turn off uh, float. So uh, we can pop that in and if the water level goes below a certain point, it will turn off the system, which is a really cool feature to have. You can feel that it's all really, really high quality materials. Um, and yeah, I think that's a really nice feature about the auto shut off system as well. Now I'm gonna connect this side to my return pipe. I'll show you how I do that now. So I've got this section here, which I'm just gonna loosen up by um, dipping in some Simple Aquarium's boiling water. Not to be confused with just normal boiling hot water, it's different. <laughs> just for 10 seconds, just to loosen it up a little bit. All right, so that feels a lot more flexible. Then I'm gonna put the rubber bit into the cap. So I'll pop that in there. And then I'm gonna pop that over here. I'm gonna pop that into here. And then this, this that came with the return pipe, I'm just gonna move that down and clamp that down here as well, just as a added sort of measure to make sure it stays put. So now I'm gonna pop that in the return pump section. Also gonna connect this to the back of the sump here. So I've got my little double-sided tape this tape as well is uh, weather resistant, so um, should hopefully do the trick with holding it within a humid, envi humid environment like the sun. And 
All right, so I'm, I'm gonna set up this bracket. So I just need to, I've changed the screw from through there to now through here so that it will sit on the side like that. So I'll, but I just need to unscrew these so I can lengthen it to make sure that the float's gonna sit at the right spot. So let's screw that onto here so it's secure. All right, so we'll plug it into the controller there, just on the side. Once we've plugged in the float switch, we can press FS, which to turns it on. I have already pressed it, so it's green. And just to show you, this is what will happen. Let's say the water level drops. So while the float is up, the pump will be running. So it's running right now. It's all running perfectly. Um, so let's say the water runs out and the float switch all of a sudden drops to the bottom. The, the pump will turn off, which it's turned off at the top and the pump will completely shut down so that it stops it from running dry over in that chamber. So I think that's a really cool little, so we'll put it back. So also if I wanted to, you know, feed my corals or feed my fish and I didn't want it blowing all over the tank, if I press the pause button once, it will pause for 15 minutes and uh, then the pump will automatically after 15 minutes turn back on or if I press it twice it'll stop the pumps for 60 minutes and then come back on automatically after 60 minutes so let's say you wanted to feed your fish you press it once or twice or whatever and then it'll just turn itself back on after that time um, and I also think it's really cool that you've got so many different settings, like power settings. It just makes it so much easier when you are, you know, setting up your sump for the first time. It just makes it so much easier to get that balance when you're starting off. Another thing I love about this pump is that it remembers what setting you had it on in case of a power outage. So if your power goes out, um, when the power comes back on, it'll go back to, let's say I've got it on number four, it'll go back to exactly the way that it was running before the power came out. So it'll remember um, what you had it on and go back to that, which is really, really cool. Um, that's just one thing I really like about this pump. It's got a lot of safety features like the auto shut off system and also that memory um, in case of power outages, cause that sort of stuff happens. Um, you know, we forget to, fill up the auto top off and you know, I don't know, it can happen. So it's really, really good to have those backups um, just in case. Yeah, Octo are known to be a really, really good, reliable brand. So it's gonna be awesome to see how they go over time. As you might be able to see, I do also have their skimmer. Um, I've been jumping back and forth doing bits and bobs for the tank today. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be doing a video on that one as well. Um, it's a really, really awesome skimmer. So I can't wait to show you guys that and how to put it together. And also I did just last week release a video on how I put this all together for the very first time and started a sump for the very first time. If you're a newbie into the hobby and you know, you, you're kind of looking into it, you want a sump, but you're not sure how it all goes together. Something I love about this build is that it comes with all the plumbing and um, I show you in that video how to start a sump for the very first time. So it can totally be daunting starting that stuff for the first time if you've got no background knowledge on anything. So definitely go and watch that video. I'll leave the link up above here, even if it's just to uh, see the very first, well, one of the very first videos of the series of this tank. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I cannot wait to share this journey of this build with you all. Um, yeah, super excited. So stay tuned and we will see you next time.